All right, guys, I don't know if you're gonna like this video, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it anyways. I've always been curious to see how performance changes as a scooter's battery gets low. I'm looking at things like speed, acceleration, and hill climbing ability. And the scooter I'm using today is the Okai Panther ES800. Okai has been a company that's always pushing the limits on what scooters and bikes can do. So I'm gonna load it up and drive to a flat road to test out the speed first. Come to pop it. <laughs> I'm driving up to this place that's pretty flat to do the speed test. That is if it doesn't start raining and snowing. Now, Okai says that the Panther can get up to 38 miles per hour. So I'm hoping to hit that speed on this first test. Before I run the test, I wanna show you a couple things here. There's three ways to change the speed modes. So once you turn it on, this is a touch screen. So you pull that down and you can select either E, D or boost by just moving your finger, tapping it. So E is walk mode, drive, is just with one motor. This is a dual motor scooter. It's got two 750 watt motors. So you got tons of power. And if you click over to boost, this is boost mode. <laughs> you got access to both motors, which is where I'm gonna leave it for this test. You can also change the speed modes here with this flicker. And then in the app, you can also change the speed modes. All right, let's see if we can hit 38. All right, we got 38 on the scooter and 33 on my speed app. I'm gonna go with a speed app of 33 miles an hour. Zero to 25, how long does it take? Here we go. Front wheel's spinning a little bit. That's pretty good, 22, 24, 26, there we go. I made it to the hill, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with my channel, this hill's a 26% grade and about a half a block long. Let's see how fast I can make it up. Here we go. Oh, plenty of power. Yeah, this is the steepest part. 16 miles an hour over the top, and there we go. I'm now just gonna cruise around the neighborhood, drain the battery to 50% and run those three tests again. Been riding around for the last 15 minutes, draining the battery. I gotta talk about this throttle because I this is one of my favorite throttles for a super scooter, for a fast scooter. But it, it feels nice, it feels durable. It doesn't feel cheap and plasticky. It's natural feeling too. When I grab the grip, my pointer finger is just right there. So they've done a nice job on the placement and design of that throttle. Uh, battery's now at 50%, the same stretch I was before. Let's see how fast I can go now. Yeah, that's, uh, there's 33, 34. Okay, even better. <laughs> I think when I did that test before, there was a headwind. Okay, uh, acceleration test. Four, that's it. Okay, back to the hill test. Here we go. Ooh, got a wet trail, so the tire's a little bit more slippery. There's 14, 15, there's 16. Down to 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. Nice. I've noticed a few more things as I've been riding around waiting for it to drop down to 25%. In fact, I'm actually not gonna go 25%. I've decided to go 10%. I think that's the line where I'm gonna see a power drop. Before I do that, I wanna show you all the, the, the noises this thing has, all right? So the first is when you put down the kickstand. And then when you turn off the scooter, kind of a cool techie alien sort of a noise. And when you turn it back on. Now there are some things that I don't like and the biggest one, in fact, it's really the only one, is how small the deck is. That thing is just, it's tiny. And then, well, and then you have the handlebars that are pushed back. And so it gives you a very crowded cockpit. It's got dual suspension, dual in the rear. And then in the front, I've never seen suspension like that, which is kind of cool. It's above the wheel. It looks cool, it just doesn't feel cool. Not that cushy. A few more things that I did like is how high the clearance is. You have over, I think it's like six or seven inches of clearance and then huge tubeless tires. I think those are like 12 inches and very wide. The headlight is bulky and very bright. Oh, and then another one of my favorite features is the LED lights that are up in this grill and they shoot down. So when you stand on it, your feet glow. I also like the tail light. It's rounded around the fin, which just looks sleek. Up in the cockpit area, you do have hydraulic brakes. Control pad is pretty flimsy. I'm not a big fan of that. This feels cheap. Uh, you do have turn signals, 
which are kind of cool, but they also feel cheap. But when you hit them, if you can see, the left side of the screen is lighting up. Then you got it also on the tail light. And you do have to turn those off. They don't shut off automatically. The horn doesn't work. Not sure what's going on there, but haven't been able to figure that out. That's pretty much everything that I liked and didn't like about the scooter. You also have a carrying capacity of around 300 pounds and it does fold down, but the stem doesn't lock. So it's kind of hard to carry it around when you do fold it. There's no place to connect. You got a handle here in the fin for the back, but in the front, not really any good spots. I just usually put my left hand here by the, the, the uh, stem and give her a, a heave yeah that's ah, that's not light i'm gonna i'm gonna hop back on enjoy the rain in my face i've got 27 percent battery life gotta drop that down to 10 and then do the speed acceleration and hill climbing test one more time i forgot to mention that the brakes are equipped with regen capability as well i was way up there the battery life said 10 percent i came down the trail about a half a mile, basically just riding the brakes the entire time, and now it is at 11%. I'm having a, I had a brain fart. I forgot that my favorite feature about the scooter. <laughs> well, there, there's two of them. The first is, and I mentioned this before, is the touchscreen, which is awesome. So you can do the gear selection, which I already showed you, screen brightness, scroll up. You can change the interface style, but if you keep on scrolling, there's the battery lock option. And if you hit that, <laughs> the deck pops open, which is awesome. And then you just, you can easily take the battery out. You just unplug it here. There's a handle, pop it out and you can carry it. Okay, uh, speed test. Let's see if I can still hit 33 miles an hour. Here we go. I don't think it's gonna make it. There's 27. This is right here, it's usually, well, there's 28. This is usually where I go the fastest and yeah. 28 miles an hour. This is the last acceleration test. That is slower, I can tell. 21, three, five, there we go. Back to the hill. I'm curious to see if it's gonna make it up. Let's find out, here we go. Ooh, still got some spin on the tire. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. It's looking good. Down to 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Back up to 7 and over the top. Sweet. The last thing I want to talk about before I recap the three tests is range. The other day I did a range test. Average speed was about 20 miles per hour and my app recorded 13.15 miles with 943 feet of elevation gain. Well, Kai says that you can get double that. Their rating is at 31 miles per hour. I think that is doable if you go slower. <laughs> wow, I hope you're enjoying what's going on up here. All right, so recap. Does the OK Panther change as the battery gets low and it does, but not nearly as much as I thought it was going to. If you guys like this video, I've got a couple more videos featuring super scooters. You know, scooters that are topping out around 45, 50 miles per hour. So uh, I got them right up here. So go check those out. And as always, thanks for watching and take care.